Is at six. Thousands of neighborhoods across the upstate are part of a homeowners association, HOAs, designed to protect those homeowners and communities and maintain property values. But what should a homeowner do if the bylaws aren't enforced and there seems to be no accountability? A 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown has what you need to know. Homeowner associations are a part of most communities run by those who live in the neighborhood. They often set the community standards for homeowners. I don't agree with the way they're running things. And if that's the way they say things are, I don't think I want to be involved. Despite collecting dues to benefit the community, Mark Yerkes says he hasn't seen any proof of how the money is being used and says he's upset about the lack of input the board is getting from those who are impacted the most. Yeah, you know, they don't enforce the covenants. And, you know, when, when, when I ask for financials, it was like, you know, we don't have any. Um, you know, the only way I could finally get a board meeting even to elect board members was I had to withhold my dues. Derek Green is president and CEO of Community Association Management. They manage HOAs for communities in North and South Carolina. He says there are no specific state laws governing HOAs. Instead, homeowners have to band together and demand answers. Then the next recourse is for the homeowner to reach out to an attorney who specializes in homeowners associations. Reporting in Spartanburg, Kimberly Brown, 7 News.